Hi, this is Tony with Tomcat Leather, and in the last video we did our stamping and everything on this keychain. Now it's fully dry. Uh, we're going to be putting the leather dressing on it, which is kind of a leather dye slash protectant for the leather. Um, we're going to be applying that with the sponge. I will be wearing gloves because, well, my skin is leather and it will stain as well. Um, I have a, I have a uh, trash bag down, that way the uh, dressing does not get all over everything in my work area. Um, I have a cloth to soak it up so that the, if there is any excess spillage, it doesn't puddle up. Um, once we get it applied, I have a couple of paper towels to wipe it down, and uh, let's get started and see how this turns out. The one thing you need to do is you make sure your uh, dressing is well shaken. And we just we will just go ahead and pour it onto the sponge. Oop, and see there's that spillage. I knew it was gonna happen. So let's just go ahead and apply it generously to our leather. And we'll put some on the back side as well, just to help condition it a little bit. Get us, well, there's plenty more there in the back end of the sponge. Okay, so that's well conditioned now. Um, so as you can see, Actually, I don't even think I'm going to have to use the uh, paper towels to wipe this off because you can see it's bringing out all the engravings and it's kind of making them pop out just a smidge. So let's go ahead and close this here up. And we will go ahead and let this dry for a couple hours and then we'll come back and we'll do the lacing. So uh, we'll see you here in a little bit. Okay, and we're back. Our leather dressing is dried. Um, we have our lacing, we have our needle, and a few extra little things, some pliers in case for tough pulling. Um, so the first thing we have to do is get our lacing ready to go into our needle. And it's a friction needle, so it pinches down on the end of our lacing, so we have to make sure that we have a smooth thin edge for it to grip onto. So like I was saying with it being a friction needle you have to open it up so that it pinches onto the leather stripping. And this is this is what they call what is called half round because well the top part of it is rounded and the rest of it is kind of flat underneath. And by doing that, it holds our piece in place. So we'll come through and we'll start on the back side of the first hole. And we'll take our pliers and pull it through. And what we'll do is we're going to leave a little bit to the inside and that's going to help us when we continue on. So we'll come through with our needle and this first stitch is going to be a little tough because I have to go back through that same hole that I've already gone through. So it's going to end up with two pieces. So we're going to grab it with pliers again and pull it through and one thing we want to do we want to make sure that the round side of the lacing is going to be to the outside and I've gone through the hole so let me get that, that back straight
Okay, and there's the beginning of our first stitch. Okay, and then, here, then we go to our next one. And we're just going to repeat this process of just looping it around. But again, we need to make sure that our lace is going to be round side out. And I'm pretty sure there's a technique out there that will help us do this a little bit easier without tying it into knots. But hey, once again, we're not looking for perfection yet. We're still learning. And we will get it right in the end. So we're going to work with this lacing a little bit until it's round. There we go. So now that it's there, let's see if this here works. I'll just walk it down and see if Let me move this hammer out of my way. Okay, so you can see we're getting a little stitch pattern here. So it's actually working out pretty well. So I'm going to follow that down again. Just going to pinch it and kind of hold the round side down. Got back to our needle. And we're going through the hole again. So it looks like this technique is going to work out pretty well to do this. And it doesn't look real bad either. I'm kind of happy with the way it looks. Let's walk it down again. And this is just going to keep repeating itself as we go. And it's, I know it's kind of slow and boring, but you know, it's kind of how life is sometimes. Every once in a while it gets a little slow and boring. And what I may do, I may try to do some editing here and try and speed this along. Uh, hopefully I can get that right and make this video a little shorter. So I'm not going to talk much more right now. I'm just going to work on this lacing and uh, we'll see you whenever we uh, are done with the lacing part. Okay, and we are at our last few stitches, so let's go ahead and get them done. I know it's a little hard to follow with the uh, back and forth of the uh, keychain and the lacing, 
but that's kind of the only way I can do it right now. Um, I am only recording on a cell phone, so right now, I mean, until I can get a better phone or in a tripod or something of that nature, this is what I have to work with, unfortunately. Well, actually, it's very fortunate I get to spend time with my daughter, who's being my wonderful camera person. Thank you, dear. And here's the last stitch. And this is going to be a little different. We're going to go all the way through like we normally would. And of course, I, I see I didn't run it this time, so now all my stitching is all goofy. Okay, so now we got this. We got all of this extra uh, all this extra lacing. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll go up, go in through this side here. Well let's trace it first. So make sure we got it flat. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into but we're not going to come out the other side. We're going to go up a couple laces. Two or three. I'm going to do three this time to see. And we're going to bring it out there. So it's a little stiff, so we're going to grab it with our pliers. And we're going to pull that through. And then what we can do from there is we get our handy dandy blade. And we just cut it off as close as we can. And then we take the ed end of our needle and we try to put and we just poke it back in a little bit and there it is it's once again it's not perfect but we're not looking for perfection but that's that the next step we just you know typical put the ring on and there we have it that's our keychain thank you guys for viewing I um, hope you enjoyed it it was really a blast um, please subscribe Give us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.